What if your joints hurt today because your immune system is acting decades older than you are? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster. Today, we're looking at rheumatoid arthritis through a different lens. Not only as joint inflammation, but as accelerated immune aging that starts years before a diagnosis. I'm Alara Sky. This conversation centers on how early changes inside your immune system, reduced production of fresh T cells, mounting inflammation, and a buildup of worn out cells, set the stage for rheumatoid arthritis and related problems such as heart and bone disease. When people hear rheumatoid arthritis, they think stiffness, swelling, and fatigue. But the core question is this, does immune aging come first? The evidence suggests yes, and that shifts the goal from only calming inflammation to identifying and slowing the aging of your defenses. A study in eBioMedicine tracked healthy controls, people with early joint pain, those with undifferentiated arthritis, and patients with new or established rheumatoid arthritis. Even before formal diagnosis, people with early joint pain showed fewer naive T cells and fewer recent thymic emigrants. Clear signs that your thymus is already slowing output. Inflammatory markers were up before arthritis set in, and an immune aging score climbed from pre-disease groups to established disease. Faulty cellular cleanup, or reduced autophagy, appeared early, and stress-related genes pushed immune cells toward a prematurely aged state. That progression helps explain why symptoms can accelerate and why some people move faster than others. It also raises a practical question. If you see immune aging before joint damage, can you intervene upstream by supporting autophagy and clearing dysfunctional cells to change the trajectory? You can start by understanding how old, senescent-like T cells accumulate and feed chronic inflammation. Supporting autophagy is one route. The article highlights spermidine as a natural trigger for cellular self-cleaning, and you can obtain it from everyday foods such as aged cheese, fermented soy like natto, mushrooms, pears, and potatoes. Senolytic approaches, strategies to help your body remove worn-out zombie cells, are also being studied. Another signal comes from a review in rheumatic disease clinics of North America. It found that people in their 40s and 50s with rheumatoid arthritis often show immune profiles resembling those of much older adults, including shortened telomeres and impaired telomerase activity that leave immune cells less able to divide and repair. The review went further. Certain genetic markers appear to prime faster immune decline. Senescent T cells are widespread in rheumatoid arthritis, leaving you less protected against infection while they push joint damage forward. This accelerated decline also helps explain higher rates of cardiovascular disease seen alongside rheumatoid arthritis. If your immune system is aging faster than you are, the goal is to slow that process. Let's translate the research into steps that the article lays out so you can protect repair pathways, lower inflammation, and clear out dysfunctional cells before they cause harm. Begin with spermidine-rich foods to boost autophagy. Building in aged cheese, natto, and other fermented soy foods, mushrooms, pears, and potatoes helps trigger cellular cleanup. You don't need a supplement to do this. You can fold these foods into meals you already eat. Lowering inflammation is next. The article advises avoiding vegetable oils high in linoleic acid and staying away from ultra-processed foods. It also points you toward colorful vegetables and fruits, and herbs like turmeric and ginger, to turn down inflammatory signaling that pushes your immune system into overdrive. Clearing senescent cells comes alongside those choices. Exercise acts as a natural senolytic. So do quercetin and fisetin, the latter found in strawberries. These help your body reduce the burden of worn out immune cells that keep inflammation high. Restorative sleep and daily stress control are fundamental. When deep sleep is short and stress remains constant, inflammatory chemicals stay elevated consistent bedtimes, a cool, dark room, and reducing screens before bed fortify repair. Pair that with slow breathing, meditation, or outdoor walks to dial back the stress signals that accelerate immune aging. Finally, support immune metabolism. When mitochondria sputter, defenses falter. The article points to magnesium, 
B vitamins, and NAD plus boosters. It specifically recommends 50 milligrams of niacinamide taken three to four times daily, spaced evenly, to sustain NAD plus production. This is about recharging your immune system's energy so it performs more youthfully. People often ask what makes rheumatoid arthritis so serious. It is an autoimmune condition in which your immune system attacks your joints, causing pain, stiffness, swelling, and fatigue, progressively destroying cartilage and bone. It carries higher risks of heart disease, osteoporosis, and reduced lifespan, affecting about 1.3 million U.S. adults. Another common question is how early signs reveal themselves. The e-biomedicine study showed that people with unexplained joint pain already had fewer fresh immune cells and higher inflammatory markers before diagnosis. A separate review documented DNA damage, telomere shortening, and exhausted immune cells in midlife patients whose immune systems looked decades older, tying rheumatoid arthritis to premature immune aging. Senescent cells also need a clear definition. These are old, worn-out immune cells that stop dividing but keep releasing inflammatory signals. In rheumatoid arthritis, their buildup contributes to joint damage and weakens your ability to fight infections. The article notes that exercise, quercetin, and fisetin act as senolytic supports to help clear these cells and restore balance. The thread that ties everything together is timing. If immune aging begins years before symptoms peak, you gain leverage by acting early supporting autophagy with spermidine-rich foods, avoiding high LA vegetable oils and ultra-processed foods, using senolytic strategies, prioritizing sleep and stress control, and feeding mitochondrial function with targeted nutrients, including niacinamide in the dose and schedule specified. Here's your challenge. Over the next seven days, choose two actions from the article and implement them consistently. Add at least one spermidine-rich food to a daily meal, Remove vegetable oils high in linoleic acid from your cooking. Perform a senolytic-style exercise session most days. Lock in a fixed bedtime and pre-sleep routine, and begin the niacinamide schedule if it fits your plan. Track joint comfort, morning stiffness, and daily energy as you go. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.